YouTube. We knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. The hardcore fans, um, even the casuals, who should have been paying attention and um, in those post-fight interviews. This is why you got to watch those post-fight interviews because Jamal Charlo, he said he was moving up, you know, the, to the fight prior to that. He said, uh, I want to stay at middleweight or whatever like that. Nah, that's not happening. It's, you know what I'm saying? The dude, I think, uh, what, two fights prior, uh, almost didn't make weight. You know what I'm saying? The dude almost didn't make weight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's good he moved up, man. He's the big twin. You know what I'm saying? I've been saying that for a while. I think it's catching on. Like, people people know now. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people understood, but now, now that it's out, because I've been saying it for like a year and a half now that this dude is like way bigger than his twin brother. He's a size and a half bigger than his than his um, twin brother uh, Jamel, you know. And people wonder why, like, man, why is this dude getting all the knockouts and his and his other dude ain't? You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> and they twins, and it's for obvious reasons, man. J- Jamal. Uh, must have gotten all the protein and nutrients from that placenta when they <laughs> when they were in the womb together. You know what I'm saying? It's like that movie Twins. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Jamal Charlo's he he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Jamel he's Danny DeVito. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he get you know he got short changed. So yeah, man. Uh, after knocking out Junior J Rock Williams. Uh, this is kind of good news for Junior J Rock Williams. Uh, one, one of the Charlo brothers moved up, so he still has uh some life left. But it's 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 not an easy road because, you know, you still have uh, um, it was at Tony Harrison, and Jared Hurd. You know, they 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 still in the way. You know, no matter who wins or loses, you know, um, they're still in the way on the path of getting the belt because these guys are, are young. You know what I'm saying? They're about to run the same age as Julian J. Rock Williams uh, in the mid-20s. Matter of fact, it turns out uh, Jerry Hurd and uh, and Harrison, you know, their numbers match up, man. These guys are both 26 years old, 6'1", you know what I'm saying? What, 76-inch 76, 76 reach, so these guys are big uh 154 fighters so yeah man so anyway now that jamal Charles have vacated his belt uh the ibf belt at 154 um yeah man jared heard and you know harrison they're fighting for the belt man congratulations man they fighting for the belt of uh, february 25th 2017 man this is this is great man this is great it was already a good fight you know what i'm saying it's already a good fight uh, good domestic matchup, man. I'm I'm looking at like boss wreck and stuff like that, man. Um, yeah, the future's looking bright for uh, you know American um, uh, you know middleweights because you got Demetrius Bubo Andretti. You know he might move up to 160 eventually uh, in his career. I think I believe he's at 154. You know, so um, yeah, man. These guys are they they looking good, man. They looking good. Um, let me look hop on Boss Rick real quick. Um Yeah, I, I don't think Jamal Charlie has to go far for looking for fights. For one you got Jan Danny uh Danny Jacobs or whether he wins or lose against G G G, that's a big fight. Um you I mean you got a lot of do a lot of guys like Dominic Wade, you know, if you wanna get his feet wet, you got Dominic Wade, Willie Monroe Junior, Ishe Smith, a smaller um uh, you know, middleweight. You got this other dude I never even heard of, uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel um, Alim. This dude's from Virginia. I never heard of him. He's highly ranked on boxer. I never heard of this guy. I never heard of him. And then you got Matt uh, Korboff here in the United States, and then Curtis Stevens. You know, some of these older guests. They're not even that old, but uh, you know, they've been around. So there's a lot of good matchups for um, you know Jamar Charlo. And then at 154, I'm just going on box Rick, man. Let's just check this out at 154. Hey, you know for um, you know Jared Hurd and Tony Harris, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of good fights. Got Van, still got Van Marderosian here in the U.S. Uh, Erickson Lubin, young guy. Uh, Demetrius Bubu Andretti, uh, you know. 
uh, who is this? Uh, Cornelius Bundridge. Somebody's got to knock him off again. And then, um, you know, you got the two other, uh, Jamel Charlo, you know, Austin Trout, you know what I'm saying? And so still guys that these guys can fight to uh, keep their, their names relevant right here in the you know, United States of America. And then you have uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez. I, I don't know where, why he's number one at 154 pounds because um, I, don't, I, I don't even think in the last fight he even made weight, but it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? He got Canelo weight, you know what I'm saying? So, um, which is money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Canelo weight is money. You know what I'm saying? He got that money. And so guys are willing to fight him at the weight he feels comfortable at. So you can't hate on that, man. You're trying to get paid. And you got a chance to knock out Saul Canelo Alvarez. Can't hate on that. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I think the future's looking bright at 160, uh, 154 for Americans, you know, fighters and stuff like that. And, and just in general, just in general, you know what I'm saying? But especially especially at 160, um... Who was that? I think it was, uh, I'm not sure, it was B. Marshall Wood, the guy, was talking about, you know, Jamal Charlo moving um, moving up on weight. But but yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, man, a lot of people see what I'm seeing, man, that, that this dude has the potential of becoming a three-division champion. You know what I'm saying? Dude got power. You know, the dude has a lot of power. I, I wouldn't doubt he walks around at 180, 190 pounds. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't doubt it. He's a big dude. He's, you know, he's a muscular dude. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. I'll catch y'all later. All right, bye.